Hi. So today, I'm sorry, the lighting's terrible. Oh, actually. Hi friends. So today I am last minute packing to go on a trip to visit my grandma in Ohio. <laughs> and so I'm currently sitting in the Target parking lot because I need to buy a suitcase. That's how last minute this is. That's how unprepared I am. I have a lot of stuff I have to do today. I have to pack my suitcase. I have to pack my carry-on. I have to get my freaking, what's it called? My airport outfit together. There's a lot to do. I also have to go to Best Buy because I'm thinking about buying a new microphone because I think the sound on this is trash. I was listening to a video that I posted like, like two videos ago and I was listening to the audio and I was like, <laughs> It was really bad, so I think I'm gonna work on getting a better camera for you, or not camera, but a better microphone for you guys. That's enough of me rambling, I'm just gonna get started. We don't have time for all that. friends so i am back at the house um i did end up getting a new microphone so let me know if the sound quality is better if i sound better on this one hopefully i do <laughs> but that is neither here nor there um i have a lot of packing that i have to do it's really nothing crazy um i'm just going to ohio like there's nothing to do there like i don't we don't have plans to do anything we're literally just going to be kicking it at the house so i'm mainly just going to be packing sweat outfits so like different matching sweat sets um i'm going to be there for like a full seven days so i think i'm going to bring I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna bring. Okay, whatever. I'm not gonna do this right now. We're just gonna go ahead and get started and I will figure it out as I go. I literally am doing this so last minute. Like my flight is tomorrow and I'm packing everything right now. Like, and not only packing everything right now, like I'm washing my clothes right now. <laughs> like I literally have like all of my sweat, all my sweat sets are dirty. So I'm literally washing my sweat sets and then like as they're coming out of the dryer, I'm putting them in my suitcase. That's how bad it is. So I'm pretty sure I mentioned this to you guys, but Ohio is like freezing. So along with my 8 million pairs of sweat outfits, which is not 8 million, it's literally four, but I'm gonna be packing a bunch of leggings. I get these leggings from Amazon, they're ribbed, and they're super duper thick. I usually um, use them to work out, which I don't know if I necessarily like them for working out. Lately, I've been trying out different athletic wear, specifically Gymshark athletic wear and just like wearing their leggings in comparison to these leggings. Like, don't get me wrong, these leggings are great and I love them and they're awesome for not only working out in the gym, but like just athleisure days. Like today I'm wearing a like bodysuit, not bodysuit, but um, like jumper. Is that what it's called, like a jumpsuit? um from like the same company that like makes the this and like i love it like it's great for every day but i don't know sometimes i don't like it for working out i don't know what the purpose of me saying all that was i was just saying it because i don't know i like the leggings i'm packing the leggings because they're super thick they're super duper comfortable and i'm literally gonna wear them underneath all of my sweat outfits to keep me warm 
because it is freezing in Ohio. And like, I honestly, I do the same thing even living here. Cause like lately it's been really cold in California. So like I've been wearing these like underneath my jeans or like underneath my work pants, like just to kind of not be as freezing cold, but yeah. So, so far, this is what I have packed. So I have all of my sweat outfits here. I also have my Ugg slippers in here. I have some workout shorts and um, some more leggings, some workout leggings over here, just in case we can get to the gym. In this little section here, I have underwear. <laughs> in this section, I'm gonna be putting my socks. My socks are still in the wash, so I'm waiting to fill that. And here I have, uh, I don't really wear like regular bras. So I have like all of my sports bras. I have enough sports bras that last me like a week and a half. I have some leggings to wear underneath my sweatpants. And I believe that's all in here. I know I mentioned before that we're not going anywhere, but I did bring a nice sweater um, with me to wear just in case we do go somewhere, if we go out to eat or whatever. I have a couple pairs of jeans. I have some more leggings um, for working out and like workout stuff. I have some Nikes here and my Uggs because like I said, it's cold out there. I'm waiting on another sweatshirt and a couple other um, like shirts to wear like underneath my um, clothes to come out of the wash right now. So as soon as that is dry and fresh that's going to be going into this section this empty section here um i figured in the meantime though as i'm waiting for my clothes to finish washing and drying that i can start packing my toiletries so i have this super cute um makeup bag that i got from my little cousin for christmas and so i'm gonna see if I can fit all of my skincare products in this top like clear portion because I really don't I do have a lot of skincare products but I don't have like a whole lot to where I don't think that'll be able to fit I'm gonna be packing my fresh soy facial cleanser love this stuff I'm gonna have to put that sideways in order for that to fit in here it's a big bottle um we have our advanced snail is this technically like mucus mucin power essence this stuff's pretty good i have my pharmacy honey halo moisturizer which is also really good because it's been very dry i'm going to be bringing my polish choice um, bha liquid exfoliant because that's also life-changing sunscreen duh i also have a kombucha the fresh kombucha facial essence I just started recently using that. Like I literally just got it like earlier this week. I am not 100% sure. This anger is, angle is terrible. You guys are like so close to my face. I'm not sure whether or not I like it yet. I'm not sure if that's like the culprit for this breakout on my forehead or if it has something to do with the fact that I haven't been washing my face at night and I've been sleeping in my makeup. I don't know. It could be either or truthfully. Then I just recently got this Rock Multi-Correction Revive Glow Eye Balm. Cause apparently it's supposed to brighten and depuff your under eyes. I don't know. I just know that I need something to moisturize underneath my eyeballs. And so that's what I used to do that. So yeah, this is everything. Not sure if all that's gonna fit. Cause I still don't even have like my toothbrush and everything in here oh all right friends so i'm gonna be packing my carry-on so i mentioned in like like two videos ago that 
like when I, okay, I think it was my what's in my purse video. <laughs> but I mentioned that I had the same bag in two different sizes because one was my carry on. So that's this one. As you can see, this thing is freaking huge. And a part of me is like, do I even want to bring this because it's so big? Like, is that wise? Is that a wise decision? But I have to think like, I have, I do have, I do have a layover, so I'm gonna be like sitting down in between. I have two flights, sir. So I can pack if I bring this bag. I can bring my laptop. I can bring my iPad. I can bring a book, but I could also bring those things in my smaller bag. So I'm trying to decide whether or not I want to bring the big one or if I want to bring the smaller one. Uh, decisions. Alright, it's like some hours later. So earlier I was talking about how um, my makeup bag fit my skincare products, but it doesn't fit the rest of my toiletries, like my makeup remover, all that stuff. So I went and I got just like a clear little bag from Target. And so I'm going to be putting my contact solution, my contacts, um, my toothbrush, my toothpaste, and uh, makeup remover in this here bag. And then I'm gonna be putting that in my suitcase. I pretty much got everything packed um, that needs to be packed. I'm kind of nervous that it's gonna be over the 50 pound limit. I don't know why I pack so much. Like I'm gonna be gone for seven days, but I literally like threw my whole closet in here and it's heavy. Oh, I'll deal with it when we get that. I was running low on like the micellar water that I usually use. Like I use like a, um, I was gonna pack like the mini version. So I went and got this Bioderma micellar water. I've been wanting to try it. So putting that in here. I also bought some more toothpaste because I was running low on that. So I'm gonna put this toothpaste in here. Boring stuff. I'm not gonna like go through packing this whole thing. <laughs> All right, friends, 8 million years later and uh, we're finally done packing. I'm not gonna lie, my suitcase is heavy and I'm kind of nervous that this thing gonna be too heavy, but on this side of the suitcase, um, I have all my sweats. So I have a hoodie here, I have like my sweat outfits, I have a pair of sweatpants here, I have a purse, I have another book. I brought like three books with me because I'm gonna be reading <laughs> on this break. Um, like I mentioned before, I have slippers, I have um, workout pants here. In this little section, I have my underwear. In this one, I have all my socks. I have sports bras and leggings here. All right, so this is a giant puffer jacket. This is gonna be like my winter coat for while I'm there. Underneath here, I have my scarf and my bonnet. I have some pajama clothes here. I have another sweatshirt. I have 
deodorant, lotions. I have my toiletries here, so all my skincare products and my makeup. And here, this is a little bag I had before where I have my toothbrush, toothpaste, contact solution, makeup remover, all of that. And then I have a sweater, I have some jeans in here, I have a hot comb in case I need to do my hair. I have my more hair products in here. I have my Uggs and another pair of shoes, another pair of sneakers. And then underneath all of that, I have um, my Bible plan book. I have my glasses and I also have another book for like my Bible studies and a notebook and like that. I'm kind of a hoarder, I realize that now. But yes, that is everything in my suitcase. Hopefully that is not too heavy. Um, and hopefully I didn't forget anything. I don't think I did. I think I overpacked, if anything. And then I also showed you guys what's in my carry-on. I didn't show you um, my water bottle. I'm gonna be putting my water bottle in there. I'm obviously empty because I can't bring liquids onto, or like outside liquids onto the plane. Um, but in here I also have two books. I have, I went out and bought some more wet ones um tissue paper i don't know if i mentioned earlier but this is a fan gum my wallet i also brought some snacks if you need to do some seaweed and i need to have nuts i have my medications and some like advil painkiller um and then like obviously my headphones would go in there but i'm wearing them and then my ipad and my macbook is in here and not to mention all of my little um pencil pouch that carries all of my cords and everything here so yeah that is it for this video oh not to mention i'm also going to be bringing this tripod with me in my carry-on bag now that is everything but okay yes that is everything um thank you so much for watching this video i know that this is kind of like random i don't know i personally like watching people do stuff like this like pack up their suitcases i think it's fun i don't know and it gives me motivation to organize things in my own life so hopefully if any of you guys are going on a trip or i don't know you guys are bored hopefully this entertained you gave you some sort of motivation to do any sort of task or cleaning that you're doing in your own life um but yeah thanks again for watching if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content from me, make sure that you subscribe and turn on your post notifications so that you can be notified when I post. But yes, I love you all very much and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.